how do you pick the perfect lipstick and how do you match it to your clothes to your skin to your eye makeup or do you even need to match it to anything but ladies here's the other question if we want to wear a bolder color lipstick such as red how do we get the confidence to wear it ladies welcome to lifestyle with isabella here we learn to look the best while being our best selves today oh my goodness i am back at glam sophisticated makeup academy here in las vegas with its founder nicolina who agreed to help me with finding the perfect lipstick nicolina Thank you so much again for taking the time out of your busy day mm -hmm. to help me with this big makeup problem. <laughs> it was, it's a pleasure having you here, Isabella, again. I'm so happy that you're here and I'm so happy that I get to teach you guys as well how to choose a perfect color for your uh, lips and also how to not just choose a nude, how to choose a good red lipstick for your lips as well. So keep on watching. We're going to guide you through the whole process. So Nicolina, this is the problem that I have when I want to try a new makeup line because I don't know which one is the right <laughs> lipstick for me. I end up buying every shade of lipstick available. For instance, really last awesome. summer, I wanted to try the KKW Beauty lipsticks mm -hmm. and I bought all the new lipsticks available. And then the other problem that I have I love red lipstick, but I don't have the confidence to wear it. So for instance, this one lipstick from Jeffree Star, I had it for over three years and it's hardly used because I just lack that confidence mm -hmm. because I don't know if it's the right lipstick for me. Mm -hmm. Yes, I can definitely help you with that because first of all, I'll save you some money because you don't have to buy the whole collection next time a new collection comes out. Second of all, I will save you some time as well because you told me that you layer lipsticks yes. unnecessarily because you apply one, it doesn't really work for you, then you apply the second one and the third one. So I'll definitely save you some time and some money as well. Awesome. First, you want to determine what kind of undertone do you have. So do you have a cool undertone, warm, or a neutral undertone? I know a lot oh. of people are confused when it comes to this. So there's two ways, uh, the easiest way to determine what undertone you have. First of all, what um, jewelry do you mostly prefer wearing? Is it more uh, silvery? you know, white gold, or would it be more like yellow gold? Yellow. Yellow. Yellow, okay? So that tells me that you prefer warm tones. You prefer more bronzy, warm tone colors oh, yes. overall with your skin, with your foundation, with your co color of your hair, right? That tells me that. If you're someone who prefers silver or white gold, or maybe even rose gold, that means you're more on that cool to neutral side. If you are someone who prefers both or likes both and looks good in both, then that means you're more on the neutral side. And also there's one more way to determine what undertone you have. So look inside of your wrists and inside of your veins. Are they more on the bluish side or are they more green? So look at that. They're definitely more on the green side. Look at that. Oh. So all veins are blue, but it depends on the skin undertone, how they show through the skin. So let's say mine are a little bit more on the green side, just because I do have oh, more yeah. tan right now. During winter, I'm very pale, very neutral, and my veins are almost invisible to very blue. That means that during winter, I'm more on that cool tone side versus cool tone to neutral. During summer, because I do have more tan on my skin, and we normally have more tan on our skin, are my veins look more green just because they show through the warm tone skin and it shows green. I'm sure you remember this from like kindergarten when you mix blue and yellow, you get green, right? Remember that? Yes. Yes, I remember that. Yes. <laughs> yes. So this is another trick to kind of determine what undertone you are. And then when you determine what undertone you are, you will be able to determine what color looks perfect on you without looking too washed away or too orange. So also what you're saying that probably in the summer, we can wear a certain type of lipstick mm -hmm. and in the winter we can adjust it. Yes, exactly. Okay. Because mm -hmm. we do tend to get, to get different skin tones during the winter and then different skin tones during the summer. That's why we buy one foundation usually lighter, more neutral oh. to, you know, for winter and a little bit more warmer, bronzy for summer. So now we determined that Isabella is on that warm side. She likes warm tone colors on her. She likes warm gold jewelry. So that means we're going to determine what color looks perfect for her. 
Uh, before we do that, I just want to say that there's different tones of uh, nude lipstick. So there's a mauve nude lipstick, there is a pink nude lipstick, there is an orange nude lipstick, a brown nude lipstick, and a beige nude lipstick, beige, yes. Okay. So there's different types of nude lipsticks. You want to determine what you are going for. Is it that pinky, mauve side, or is it that the more nude, brown, um, beige side? And looking at these lipsticks, we can definitely see that there is um, obviously very lighter nude colors, and then as we go here, we see more like medium to very tan nude colors. And before we also determine which color is good for her, we're gonna determine also skin tone of her clients or whoever is looking for a lipstick. So for example, there is um, four different categories. I would say there's like fair category, very fair, very light undertone with pink or bluish undertones. Then we have a light to medium, which is normally, most likely it's going to be that neutral side, not too warm, not too cool. Then we have that medium side or medium tones, which I would say you are right now in a medium tone, like light yes. to medium to medium, which is gets a little bit more warmer and then as we get to the very deep tone it can get very warm the richer the cooler it gets um, so as I said with four different categories um, first three categories let's say fair light to medium and medium skin tones they work and look the best in a nude color that's shade to two shades darker than their skin color one to two shades. Yes. Okay. You never want to go with the same color as your skin because that's just going to wash you off. It's going to look like you don't have okay. any lips and you need a definition. Okay. For a uh, dark uh, woman of color, for example, I would suggest going with a tone to two tones lighter than their skin okay. for a perfect nude color. Okay. So that's something to kind of look into when determining your uh, perfect color, perfect nude color. So here we're gonna demonstrate also how to choose a perfect lip liner as well. We okay. have the KKW Beauty products here, uh, lip liners and lipsticks as well. So as looking, uh, when you're looking at these colors, you can definitely see how I arrange them from the lightest to the darkest, right? Yes. So this one, the lightest one is very pinky, very light pinky. As it goes into the darker ones, it gets a little bit more kind of like a mauve color, uh, like a lighter pink, and then it gets into the brown. Usually when choosing a perfect lip color, perfect nude color, I love, my personal preference is to go for those brown lip liners and then a little bit more uh, softer nude, kind of like a beigey, lightly pink nude color. A brown, okay, so yeah. brown. Brown uh, uh, lip liner. Brown lip liner. Brown lip liner with a nude, like a beige pink nude lipstick. Beige pink nude lipstick. Yes. Also when choosing a lip liner, you want to make sure it's darker than your color of your face. Oh. You want to make sure that there is definition between the color of your face and your lipstick uh, as well. Because it's kind of like a, you know, it's defining your lips. So there has to be definition. If, for example, someone has very light lips and they choose a very light lip liner, it's not gonna show. It's just gonna wash them out. It's not gonna give them the definition. If you want bigger lips, you always have to go with a little bit uh, darker lipstick than your own lip color. I just wanna make sure I understand right. In general, with even medium skin tones, mm -hmm. I go one to two shades darker than my skin tone. Yes. Mm -hmm. Lipstick. Lipstick, yes. And then the liner make it... I would say maybe three to four shades darker. For the liner. For the liner. Yes. Okay, mm -hmm. thank you. I would say like that. So now I'm gonna help Isabella choose a perfect color lip liner as well as a lipstick for her lips. And I'm gonna choose a perfect nude, like a brown nude. I really wanna go for that nude nude color. I'm not gonna go for mauve or pinky or orangey or corally or anything like that. I wanna go for, for a perfect nude. So when looking at these lip liners here, obviously these first three would be more on that pinky mauve side. I don't know if you guys can see the colors, but they can definitely see that they're a little bit more warmer versus um, the brown ones. And then the brown ones, you can definitely see that they're on that brown side. So again, I, I don't want the pinky ones, so I'm gonna put those on the side. I don't want mauve, I want actual brown. So for, for her, because her lip color also, you gotta determine or look at the lip color of the client. Because client sometimes has very pink uh, lips or very red lips. So usually yours are very neutral. They're not too pink, they're not too red, they're not too orange or anything like that, they're pretty neutral. So you can pull off any color and it's gonna look true to its color. If your lips tend to t take a cast or, or a color kind of pink or red, I was just getting a little of the foundation or a concealer and just dabbing lightly over the lips to kind of tone down your, your natural color because the natural color will also determine how the lipstick will look on your lips. Oh, yes. Sounds good. Okay, so first things first, I want you to prime your lips with a little lip balm, moisturizer or something like that. It just, la your lipstick will last longer and it will glide much easier as well. Actually prime my lips with the lip balm? Yes. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. yep. go ahead. <laughs> 
<laughs> I've never heard of that. Yes, <laughs> just prime a little bit, not too oily, not too much, just a light layer oh, of just, a lip balm. Oh, okay. Yes, I usually, for my clients, I use a face oil. I love face oil, just a little bit on my on the lips, or a light layer, either with a finger you can kind of spread, or just spread with your lips. I never tried that. And this will also allow your lipstick and lip liner to glide on much easier too. Okay, so firstly, looking at these colors, I'm not gonna go for the darkest one. This would be something, this I would choose for, let's say, a woman of color. If I have a client who has a darker skin tone, this is what I would choose. But looking at these three colors, we can see that this is a little warmer, this is on colder side. I don't know if you guys can see the different undertones, but I would suggest starting with, for that's Isabella. That's warmer, that's cooler. cooler. Yes, you see how? Oh, that, yes, I can definitely see you that You see the one. difference? Yes. You can only see the different undertones when put together like this. If you're just looking at one color, you probably won't really Really see what the undertone is so when you go to a store next time choosing pick up let's say three four that you like and open them up and put them next to each other then you will see okay it's cool or it's warm so right now we're looking at these and she likes more warmer colors she likes more bronzy colors so that's why I'm going for more warmer nude as well which I'm gonna go with this lightest one from these to start with and we'll see if we need to darken up we can always go with a little darker Yes, go ahead and just apply it in your lips. If you want a little bit bigger lips, I would suggest overlining just the center of the bottom and the center of the upper lip as well. Yes. And that really gives a plump effect. You don't want to overline the corners, it's going to look messy. You just want to overline the center of the lip. And also now, since she's applying this lip liner, um, she can kind of fill in the corners as well. So you can go ahead and fill in, in a little bit here too. Oh, with the lip liner. Mm -hmm. okay. Exactly. That way it won't be just defined in the corners. It will be a little bit filled inside and then it will look almost like an ombre effect on your lips when you apply a lipstick uh, after this. Perfect. Mm -hmm. Very nice. Yeah, this is a perfect nude color for you. It's a like a coffee brown color, like a toffee brown. Um, I like it. Yeah, very okay. nice. Maybe a little bit more here underneath. More, okay. And fill in a little bit. Yeah, a little bit more. Fill it in and fill in the lip a little bit too as well. So it's not just the line, it's a little bit filled in. One more trick what you can do is you can take a Q-tip and kind of blend out the corners. If it's too defined, if it's too harsh, if it's a, maybe a little too darker lip liner, you can go ahead with just a Q-tip and just kind of blend it up. And it will be easy to do this, I'm gonna show them, just because she has that lip balm oh, underneath. Okay. So it kind of blends with the lipstick. If, for example, you apply too much or you just don't want it to be too defined um, on the lips. So awesome. this is a little trick you can do as well. So Isabella just used the KKW Beauty lip liner in 1.5 nude, and she likes a little bit more darker on the corners. She used to use a lipstick actually to achieve that effect, but instead of doing that, I'm gonna just have her use a darker lip liner, which is the next one would be nude two. Um, just a tiny bit darker, same undertone, warmer brown color. And I'm gonna have her use that a little bit on the corners and okay. maybe a little bit on the center of the lip and upper and bottom as well, just to emphasize it even more and give more definition very lightly i like these lipsticks because they're very creamy and easy to blend they are very creamy yes i like them and then if you need to if you apply too much or if it's a little bit too defined again go back with a little q-tip and then just kind of blend them out am i doing a good mm -hmm. job yeah okay. you're doing a really good job it's good to start with a little bit lighter one just to see if it's a good color and then you can always go darker um, versus going too dark at once and then you are a little bit too scared. Oh my God, I look crazy with this dark lipstick or lip liner. So start yeah. Start with baby mm -hmm. steps. Yep, baby steps. And then just blend them out. Perfect. That way it kind of blends into that first lip liner and it creates like a perfect brown nude color. If you need to clean it up, if you, for example, go too low or maybe blend over the line, pick up a flat synthetic brush, something like this, for example, pick up a little concealer and just kind of carve it around and kind of clean it up a little bit. That's also a good trick. Did I do good? Yes, you did a really okay. good job. I'm very proud of you. Okay, so now let's choose a lipstick, right? So we chose a perfect lip liner. Now we're choosing a lipstick. So we're looking at these colors. Obviously, these are going to be darker, too dark for Isabella. They, they oh. will work, but they're not going to be the nude color for her. This will be a nude color for a woman of color. We're looking at Isabella's undertone and skin tone. We're looking at these colors here. So you guys can see a little bit better. As you can see, the first one here, it's more on the pink side, very beige pink color. The second one is more on that kind of caramel uh, light nude. The third one is more on that like, brown nude. And then the fourth one is more on that pink side. And then the fifth one is more on the mauve side. 
Okay. Do you see that? I, now that you pointed them out, I you can, can see, see the different the, colors, yes, right? Yes, I can see the different colors, so, especially with this one. This is exactly. like a movie. When you're mm -hmm. looking at it, at it as itself, you probably don't see the difference in the colors. But then when looking at them like this together, you will see. Again, we're not going for anything pinky, mauve or anything like that. We're going for the perfect nude. That's so nude. I would look at the two in the middle. So this one and this one. Okay. I would maybe start with the lighter one. So the, one. the second one. Yep. Pick it up. I'm holding them. Perfect. There you go. I would two. start with this. Number this is two. number two. So it's actually, it is kind of matching the first lipstick and the first, um, the lip liner to the lipstick. Mm -hmm. Yep. I would suggest dabbing instead of wiping. On oh, the dabbing? Lips. Dabbing, yeah. Why is that? That way you kind of build the lipstick. It's not going to Oh, it looks so much better. So much better. Yes. When you go too, sometimes it's too creamy. It sometimes applies too much product and it looks like it's sitting on top. This way you're kind of pressing it into the skinny between the lip kind of, you know, the lines you have in the lips and it looks more natural. And then I would suggest doing this just yeah. And that way it kind of blends the lip. Never wipe or how do you call that? Smear the lips in between each other. Oh. Always just dab them. Oh my goodness, okay. Yeah. I'm learning so much. <laughs> yes, always just dab them a little bit or even take but your But it looks so much better already. Yep, yeah, yep, yeah, it looks perfect already. Take your ring finger oh. and just dab it on, to kind of to blend in between your lip liner and your lipstick. So that's a little trick as well that I like to do. Oh my gosh. I mean, it's blending into the perfect nude lip color mm -hmm. for me. Yep, oh yep. God, it's a perfect lip yes. color for you. It's I definitely, love it. It's a, like, we're going for that warm nude color. So that's what we actually Okay, achieve. do you know how many times I applied this lipstick and I would be like, uh, and like, it looks too, just... Too pink, right? Yes, mm -hmm. it just... Uh, it was just not the I felt like it's not the right color, but mm -hmm. dabbing it, then blending yes. it with my finger, much oh better. Gosh. Yes, it looks perfect. It's a yes. perfect nude color for you. It matches your eye makeup, matches your skin, matches everything. It's not orange, it's not too brown, it's not too pink, it's just a perfect nude color. My gosh, ladies, I love the color of the lipstick. And, and really, if you watched my previous video with Nicolina, you know, I talked a lot about the class I took with her last summer. If you're ever in vacation in Las Vegas, you need to treat yourself to one of the classes with Nicolina. It's amazing. Yesterday, I was trying to use the same color lipstick on my lips, and it just did not look right. And just learning to just dab the lipstick and then blend it into my lips, what a yeah. transformation. It makes a big difference. It, it makes a big difference. Mm -hmm. And then, okay, how about the red lipsticks now? Yes, <laughs> okay, so we're gonna talk about red lipsticks now. So did you know that every red shade can be either a cool tone or a warm tone, depending cool tone. if it has a blue undertone or it has a red undertone? Oh my goodness, you know, I, I know, not know. <laughs> so much. I know, but let's take you a little bit through the journey of red lipstick. So I'm not personally a fan of red lipsticks usually because- You are lipstick, not a fan? I'm not a fan of them. Okay. Um, I just don't see myself looking good at them. I probably do, maybe for someone else. I love seeing people with red, red lipstick, but I'm never a fan of wearing them myself. So, um, but I want to teach you as well because I know you purchase a lot of red lipsticks. I do. I just and... don't have the courage to use them. <laughs> yes. So let's talk about them a little bit. So there is a perfect red lipstick. When I talk about perfect red lipstick, there would be a cool tone red lipstick. So again, we're taking, we're talking about skin undertones. Mm -hmm. If you have a cool tone, neutral tone um, color, you look better in a cool tone lipstick. Cool tone lipstick is a perfect classic lipstick that has a blue undertone. Okay. It's crazy, right? Blue and red, you would never think, but no. it actually is the case. I don't know if you guys can see that. I'm going to just open this a little bit just to kind of show you. And then if when I do that, you can kind of oh, see... I can definitely see the blue. Bluish undertones coming. It's actually more like a... A purple tone coming out of it and purple mm -hmm. is actually a red and a blue mixed right so it's kind of coming out so that's what actually a uh, classic uh, cool tone lipstick look like and that's for skin tones that that's for cool tone neutral skin tones cool tone neutral skin, skin tones. tones exactly okay so um, also if you want your teeth to look whiter you always go for a classic cool tone lipstick Classic tune. Teeth okay. always look more yellow in a warm tone, red, orange, coral lipstick, right? I'm uh, sure you've noticed I, that. I, that I did notice, yes. yes. Mm -hmm. That's why I, well, if I'm doing a red lipstick, mostly I'm going to be doing a classic lip. Uh, on my clients, again, I don't really do it on myself, but for my clients, I'm always going to go for that classic lipstick, classic red. Unless my clients are very warm, they're very warm, like medium to warm co color, then they're not going to look so good in a classic 
blue tone and then I'm gonna go for a little bit more warmer tone class uh, nice. lipstick this one is a kind of between it has a little orange to it I'm, I don't know if you guys can see it like a little difference uh, when you compare them um, yes you can definitely see it also you can kind of see um, I just brought a couple of mine here so you can kind of maybe I don't know if you can see from the reflection but you can see how this one has a little bit more purple undertone to it more that like cool tone purple undertone this one is a perfect red it has also a, a blue undertone not as purple and this one is very rich very almost like a cherry color so this one is very rich mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yeah go ahead yes I see. so usually if I'm choosing a lipstick for a woman of color or anyone who has a very like medium to deep color I'm I'm going to choose something with a warmer undertone. If I'm choosing for my cool tone clients, fair tone clients, I'm going to go for a classic lipstick, a blue tone classic lipstick. Blue tone classic lipstick. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes. <laughs> Should I swatch some so they can see yes, the difference? Yes, let's okay. do that, yes. So first things first, let's do this one. This is um, a very classic lipstick. It has a reddish undertone. Okay, here is the trick question. Why I do not have the confidence to wear a red, red lipstick. lipstick. Um, with red <laughs> lipstick, what a lot of people have problem is it bleeds around their mouth. Maybe that will be the reason. You don't really wear that for dinners because then you have to, you know, touch it up a lot. It might get everywhere. So that's a cool trick if you want to uh, avoid that using a lip liner. So lip liner, anything that has uh, that's creamy, you would apply it first. I would actually suggest applying it all over your lip, even filling in your whole lip area. Okay. And that way it kind of prevents especially if it's creamy or glossy, it will prevent from bleeding all over the lips. The creamy um, lip liner will kind of hold it more, right? It will last longer as well. So the confidence comes in people not, um, they don't want to draw attention, right? Yes. And a lot of times if I see a woman with red lip, I'm going to look at her. She's going to bring my attention because you don't see it every day. You see nudes every day, but you don't see that. That's why people are afraid because they don't want the attention. They're afraid if there's someone's looking at them, they're going to judge them. And people, that's why they, um, most likely tone down, you know, go for the classy wardrobe or classy makeup as well. So Isabella wants to try her perfect red lipstick, right? Since we kind of demonstrated a little bit. And also she was wearing a dress um, that it's black dress with a little like a purple reddish um, flowers on it. So it's actually a perfect example how you can match a red lipstick or what to match it to as well. So since she's wearing something like this, she wanted to give it a try as well. If she was wearing a red dress, I wouldn't suggest wearing a red lipstick as well. It would be, for me, in my opinion, too much. But let's say something opposite, like let's say black or or white let's say that would look perfect with a red lipstick so when looking at these colors here you can definitely see the a difference in between these two this one is a little bit more um, orangey red like a red red it has a red undertone versus this one it's very cool tone it has a blue undertone this one it has that purple kind of undertone to it it's a little bit more on the warmer side so I was actually thinking that color would look perfect on her just because of the flowers they're kind of right. between the red and purple but let's not get into this let's choose it between red I would suggest warm color because Isabella likes warm colors she looks better in a yellow jewelry as well and I would suggest trying this lipstick here this is from okay. Mike Mark Jacobs and the color is we don't really see the color right uh, I'm gonna have to just oh 340 hello rouge hello and this rouge. is my own lipstick so I can apply directly yes, on my yes. lips mm -hmm. exactly uh, oh my goodness <laughs> don't be intimidated okay yeah. so try first outlining the lips first I would outlining. do that. Yes, outlining. I was thinking first. just starting the middle. Okay, you out. can start that. You no. can start in the middle. No, I'm gonna follow. It, so outline the lips. I okay. would suggest first outlining like a lip liner. This is kind of okay. like a, in between a lip liner and a lipstick as well. Um, so it's a cool product actually. So you can use just one. Yep. Keep going, and you will see how. Uh, warm this color is it's not going to be cool tone and it's perfect for summer too because for summer we want a little more warmer colors right we look a little more bronzy so warmer colors tend to look better on us perfect yeah i did not overline the lips you Can did you a try? good job you did a really good job with overline or lining them so now start filling them in and then see if you need to maybe fix up some corners or you know some areas but yeah this lipstick looks really good on you oh my goodness that's i know color. You're not used to it. It's it's about getting used to something. It's about getting out of your comfort zone. We yes. love the nudes, we love the tone colors, but reds, you know, that they can bring something out of us that maybe an alter ego, who knows? <laughs> Oof, this looks so good on you. Should I like rub the lips or dab? Dab, mm -hmm. I would dab them, especially because this is not a liquid lip, it's more on a creamy side. So wiping them might maybe pull them too far out and you don't want that. So just dabbing them. Also, if you're having a trouble overlining, do this as well. 
Okay. And that way it kind of like that li uh, liner underneath, not the liner, but the corner of the lip kind of emphasizes more. So that way you don't overline too much. Perfect. This red lipstick looks so good on you. I love it. I'm just obsessed with looking at you. It just looks beautiful with your skin tone. It doesn't look too much. It doesn't look like you have something that's not supposed to be there. It just perfectly looks, oh wow. It looks there amazing. you have it. Is that easy? It's that easy. So if you are afraid that your lipstick will bleed outside of the lines, what you can do is you can bake. Like we mentioned in the previous video, you can take bake? a little bit. Yes. It's like bake, yes, we can bake. So take a little, this is just a uh, little sponge, anything, a beauty okay. blender or a, a brush, whatever you have. And I'm gonna take a little bit of the, this is Huda Beauty setting powder. I'm just gonna take a little extra here, just to kind of demonstrate you. And I'm gonna take, because I like this because it has like a very nice sharp line. I'm gonna take a little bit on the corner like this. And I'm gonna go on the side of her lip and kind of bake a little bit here. And this will prevent the lipstick from bleeding outside. And that way she will be for sure that she's not going to look smudgy or her lipstick is not going to look overlined just because we kind of went and baked a little bit on the meat. How long do you leave this on? I leave this on for about 10, 15 seconds maybe. Oh. Uh, you will see how the powder will start, start absorbing um, in the skin. So it's going to start disappearing very soon. And then I'm just going to take a very small brush. Um, let's say a very, very small detail brush and just kind of wiping it around. Oh my God. And this really helps the lipstick to stay put. To stay put. Exactly. If your lipstick is too um, creamy, let's say, and you're, you're afraid it's going to bleed a little bit, what you can do is take a tissue, a very thin tissue, paper tissue, just put it on top of your lip and go with a, a little bit of the setting powder and a brush and just kind of go over the tissue. And that will mattify the lipstick. Any lipstick you want to mattify from cream to matte, you can do that little trick as well. And that will just stay, your lips will stay put, they will not oh move gosh. around. There you have it, ladies. I'm wearing a bold red lipstick. It's... Oh Nicol my God, it looks so good on you. Nicolina, I cannot thank you no. enough for your time, for teaching me. Ladies, if you want to learn more of Nicolina's makeup tutorials, I'm going to link her website below in the description. Also, four weeks ago, uh, me and her filmed another video, which is right here. So mm -hmm. you can watch that video. If you want to watch one of just my own makeup tutorials, just click on that video right here. Thank you for watching. See you next time. Thank you, Isabella. See you guys next time.